Welcome to another Cozy Diaries. And if you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Amy. I do these weekly vlogs um, every single week. I actually have been consistently uploading them on Mondays. So if you guys wanna stick around, that would be awesome. I wanted to start this Cozy Diaries off by saying Thank you guys so, so much for your such kind responses to my last Cozy Diaries. I know I did a little bit of an emotional dump on you guys and I always am kind of nervous slash a little anxious about posting those things, especially when it pertains things about my private life and personal situations and my stressors and everything because I, don't want people to take it the wrong way and I don't want to come across here as you know I'm being a brat or I'm so privileged but I'm just complaining about everything I was honestly a little bit scared that people would think like oh my gosh she's complaining about having to postpone her wedding but it's not even that big of a deal like I I know so many people have it so much worse than I do like d don't get me wrong I'm not saying that and I you know just because I'm going through something that doesn't invalidate anyone else's problems. I just, you know, wanted to share with you guys my true emotions and just rant like, you know, we're friends here and I just love talking to you guys and getting your feedback and encouragement through the comments and, you know, you guys were just so sweet. I'm so grateful to have such a supportive group and community here on YouTube. So many of my YouTube friends commented such lovely things and it really does truly mean so, so much to me. And I'm so glad that I have a platform where we are able to converse and just share feelings and thoughts and what we're going through. Thank you so, so much. Just wanted to put that out there before I begin this Cozy Diaries. Anywho, let's move on to the fun part. I actually just got back from Target with Charlie. I had to pick up some functional things. It's a very practical Target haul, so nothing like super exciting, but I wanted to show you guys because I bought a lot of new beauty, like hair care slash, what else did I buy? I don't know. I bought like cleaning supplies, but I bought some new hair care products from Target and I've never heard of the brand before. So I wanted to see if any of you guys have tried these and let me know if you like them or you hate them. Hopefully you like them because obviously I bought them and I'm gonna use it. I was on a hunt for a new shampoo and conditioner duo as well as like a leave-in conditioner slash frizz control product because as you guys know, my hair is wild. Oh my gosh, when I get out of the shower, my hair is so frizzy. It's not fun to deal with that and I just don't wanna use my Dyson every single time I wash my hair. Like as much as it's less damaging to your hair than other heat styling products or heat styling tools, it still adds heat and it's just another step in my routine that I don't really wanna do every single day, especially if I'm not like filming or if I don't need my hair to be done up or anything like that because I am staying home majority of the time. I want my hair still to not be frizzy. I just need it to smooth and calm the F down, you know, after I get out of the shower. So I wanted something to put in my hair after I wash it and I went on a hunt, you guys. I went straight to the hair aisle, researched on my phone all these products and they had really good reviews. So, okay, let's get into it because I feel like I'm talking about these for so long, but it is this brand called Odell. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but it looks like Odell. Like Adele, but Odell. And <laughs> I bought their shampoo and conditioner. This is their smoothing shampoo and conditioner line. It says for extra moisture, frizz control, and shine, which is 
all very lovely things that I'm looking forward to to add to my hair care routine. This is sulfate free, which is so, so important to me. You guys already know I cannot use anything with sulfates in it because of my perioral dermatitis around my mouth. It'll just get so inflamed if I have anything sulfate in my products. So, so, so happy that this was sulfate free. It's a hundred percent natural fragrance and I actually smelled this and it smells really fresh. It, it reminds me kind of like a cucumber scent. It's very, very nice. I actually really enjoy it. And because I use other fragranced products like my body lotion and perfume and things like that, I don't really need my hair care to have fragrance in it. So I didn't mind that it's 100% natural fragrance. This is vegan, not tested on animals, dermatologist tested, no synthetic fragrance. It's just all very amazing quality stuff. So I am surprised that I never heard of this brand, but I honestly don't shop for hair care or beauty products at Target that often, so maybe that's why. I usually purchase more expensive shampoos and conditioners, but I decided to try something new and just go to the drugstore and see what I can find and hopefully I like it. This was only 10 or $11 per bottle. So the shampoo and conditioner together cost me like $22 or something like that with tax. So not bad at all. I think that's pretty affordable, especially if it's a good product. And look at this packaging, guys. It is so pretty. This is like stunning. I mean, it looks like a high-end shampoo that you would find at like Ulta or Sephora. So I'm super excited to try these out. Also by Adele, this is their air dry styler. So I was at the store and I saw this versus the Kristen S air styler. She also has an air drying styler product as well. I actually have tried the Kristen S uh, like physical hair brush and I actually really like that brush so I was like oh maybe I should try this but I ran across this and I decided to choose this over the Kristen S one because of the more friendlier ingredients as well as um, I looked up on Google to see which one had better reviews and this one had like 0.1 star more than the Kristen S one. So I decided to choose this over that. This is specifically for people who air dry their hair. I am notorious for air drying my hair. I don't really like to use the blow dryer. If I'm gonna blow dry my hair, I'm gonna use my Dyson and actually style my hair. If I'm not using the Dyson and I'm just using a regular curler or straightener, I usually let my hair air dry anyway and then wait until it's completely dry to style it. I feel like this is my type of product. I mean, it says it's supposed to lightly condition, smooth frizz, create soft separation, lock in moisture, lock out frizz, and add shine and texture for a perfect air dry. You can happily skip the blow dryer and embrace your natural side. So I'm so excited because if this makes my hair less frizzy after I get out of the shower and washing my hair, I'm gonna be such a happy woman because my hair, look at this. It is just so like, I mean, this is nothing. I already tried to calm the frizz down for this video, which is the reason why it looks like this, but straight out of the shower, oh my gosh, my hair looks like a lion's mane. I have a lot of it and it just gets super frizzy and dry. So interested in this, can't wait to try it out. I will definitely let you guys know if I like it or not. So happy that I found this brand. I mean, if it's good, but Google says that it's good, so it must be good, right? <laughs> I am almost out of my body lotion. I usually use my Hemp's one, which I really do like, but during the winter time, I feel like the Hemp's original formula isn't as moisturizing as I want it to be. So I was on the lookout for a new brand of lotion to try, specifically for your body. And I came across this brand at Target as well. It's called Flamingo. It's a very cute name. And it's very, wow, I bought products that are kind of in the same aesthetic. I wasn't trying to do that, but coincidence. I do like this packaging though. It's very minimal. As you guys 
can see, I just love these like minimal packaging. It's just so pretty and elegant looking. This is a daily moisturizing lotion by Flamingo and it says squalane for hydration, white willow bark and papaya extract for exfoliation. Dermatologist tested this product is cruelty and paraben free. I read the reviews online and people are raving about the smell of this lotion, which I'm super excited to try. I didn't get to smell it because it also has a stopper. So I'm gonna go ahead and smell it for you guys right now. I hope I like the smell because I mean, people were raving on about it online. Oh, it is pretty thick for a lotion, which I actually prefer. I prefer thicker lotions, but I heard that this is not greasy and it sinks into the skin really well. So I'm excited. Let's smell it. Huh, interesting. Very different from the scent that I'm using currently. So I am curious about how Charlie will react because this body lotion smells very, very different. It's like a completely different fragrance family. It's very subtle though, so I feel like after a couple hours, it definitely will dissipate. It's not bad at all. It's just very light and pretty unisex in my opinion. It smells very unisex. It's not very floral or girly, girly, uh, fruity or anything like that not sweet. It is a little muskier, but like a clean, very lightweight musky scent. It smells like a unisex perfume, if that makes any sense. I mean, I like it. It feels really nice. It's already absorbed into my skin and it left my hands pretty soft. So excited to keep on using this. I love squalane as an ingredient in general. It's very hydrating and moisturizing, which I am a huge fan of. I will go ahead and let you guys know how I like this as well. <laughs> the last thing that I got is very boring, but it is an OxyClean <laughs> laundry stain remover. Not gonna talk too much about this because what more is there to say about OxyClean laundry stain remover? We didn't have any like laundry stain targeting formula, so I'm glad that we have this now so I can use this on like pesky wine stains or Charlie eats a lot of spicy food and he gets stuff all over his white t-shirts. So we're gonna be using it specifically for that as well. That is the Target haul. I'm so, so excited to use the hair care, but I'm gonna obviously have to wait until my old shampoo completely runs out as well as my conditioner. It's funny though, like my shampoo and conditioner never runs out exactly at the same time, but oddly enough, this time around, it's both almost gone, so, which I thought was pretty funny. I'm drinking some tea which has actually caffeine in it. Um, probably not the best idea at 8 p.m. at night, but it's fine. reason I feel like I didn't get anything done this morning and now it's like 
1.30 in the afternoon. I'm going to go, sorry, there's probably rompers fur in my eye, like always. I swear, if you have a pet in your home, their fur is everywhere. Places where you would have never thought hair could be in gonna be there. I do have to run some errands because I have to return some Everlane things to Paper Source. Paper Source is one of their like return centers. That's why I'm going there. After I get back, I think I am going to film another video. I want to do another kind of warmer version of my Valentine's Day outfit lookbook because the one that just went up, a lot of the outfits were more indoor slash warmer weather appropriate. Not a ton of cozy, warm outfits in that video. So I think I'm gonna film another one, but it's gonna be different. I hope I get a good response from it. I do wanna play with my editing style a little bit just because I feel like I haven't found my exact style yet of how I want to produce my lookbooks specifically. So I do wanna make them a little bit more entertaining, a little bit more dynamic. So we will see what happens or how people feel about it because I'm just not sure. It's definitely gonna show my personality a little bit more, I don't know, a little bit more quirky, fun. I wanted to show you guys my outfit today. It's very, very casual. I really wanted to style this graphic tee today. I realized I don't have a lot of graphic tees because it wasn't really my style in the past. Like it was just a little bit too streetwear, but I have fallen in love with graphic tees lately. And this was the odd one that was in my closet. So I'm styling this one. This shirt says non merci. It's in French, so I don't know how to say that, but it's from Brandy Melville. I bought this years ago, probably when I was in like, like freshman year of college, to be honest. That was like a lot of years ago. So it's probably not there anymore, but they have a ton of graphic tees if you guys are interested. But the only thing that I don't like about Brandy Melville is that most of their clothing items are one size fits all, which we all know is not appropriate anymore in this day and age. But I bought this a long time ago and I don't really buy from them anymore. But I still wear this shirt because I have it and I do like the style. I have a oversized kind of knit cardigan from H&M. I love H&M's conscious line cardigans. I think they are so, so cozy. I have my belt from And Other Stories. This one is my favorite from them. It is a croc leather with gold hardware. My favorite. I have these really comfortable jeans on. These honestly feel like leggings, you guys. These are from Mod & Bow. I worked with them in the past, so this was gifted, but obviously all opinions are of my own. They were a tad bit long on me, so I have to cuff them at the ends, but honestly, these like I can like literally do like the splits. <laughs> the shoes I'm wearing are my Doc Martens. I have the black Jadens on. Oh my gosh, it's such a vibe, but they are quite clunky, which I do like actually. Very casual kind of streetwear look today. squeaking sound it is romper playing obnoxiously with his toy right next to the camera because he just has to do that you know <laughs> i ended up putting my hair in a low bun i never put my hair in a bun for some reason it's just really hard for me to do because my hair is so long i tried i tried and this is how it turned out also, do you guys like my little pearl clips? I am for sure gonna wear these for Valentine's Day or something because they are so nice and romantic. It's very chic and cute. I love pearl accents because I just think that pearls just make everything seem so much more delicate and feminine. I love wearing pearls. I thought it was cute, but obviously, it's very like slicked back. I would have done it better, but my hair is really greasy right now. <laughs> 
Anyway, while I was running errands, I did stop by this little boutique that I found on the way to Paper Source. It is called Sophie Blake New York, and oh my gosh, I don't know why I never went inside the store, but I just never did, and I'm so glad that I did this time because when I went in, the sales associate was so, so nice, and it was jewelry galore, and it was just right up my alley, so I looked at some of their stuff. I was talking to the sales associate. She was like super friendly and I got to know her a little bit better. I was asking her about the business and everything. There was another person in the store and she was introducing herself and she was like, hi, I'm Sophie. And I was like, wait, Sophie? Like Sophie Blake? <laughs> And I kind of said it jokingly because I was like, oh, that's a really funny coincidence that her name is Sophie and she's working here and the store is called Sophie Blake. So I didn't put the two and two together, but she was like, yeah, I'm Sophie. I like from Sophie Blake and she started laughing and I was like, oh my God, that is hilarious. What are the odds that the first time that I come into the store, I'm meeting literally the business owner. She was so lovely and helpful. She was like showing me all the new pieces and just kind of like behind the scenes stuff. She would pull things out of the drawer for me to try on. And it was just like a really fantastic experience shopping with her. She was amazing. Her jewelry are stunning. So I actually picked something up because I've been looking for a really thin dainty piece to put on my pointer finger on my left hand because I kind of want to just like keep it on and not have to take it off. I wanted something that's gold filled or solid gold so that I can wear it in the shower and while I'm sleeping putting hand sanitizer on, lotion and all that stuff. So I wanted something that's like super high quality, but not gonna rust or change colors on me or whatever. She showed me this one and it is honestly perfect. <laughs> Literally just a very thin kind of wire basically, but it is gold filled. She actually uses a higher percentage of gold in her gold filled jewelry because a lot of the you know industry standard for gold filled jewelry is either five to 10% gold, but she uses 20%, I believe, which is amazing. It just looks so good on my left hand with my engagement ring and everything. I just think it looks stunning. It definitely adds on to the vibe and a little bit more texture without being overwhelming. On my right hand, I have my usual Ana Luisa jewelry, but these are gold plated. So definitely going to be a little bit different in quality. Although Ana Luisa rings have never turned on me or rusted on me, I still like the fact that this one is going to be like life proof basically so so cute so dainty and her packaging is beautiful it came in this little mini white box with a bow on it it came with her business card as well with this gold print on her business card this is just so my vibe i love gold anything you guys already know highly recommend her jewelry pieces for sure she has a lot of gold filled she has 14k 18k plated sterling silver like anything you can think of also a women-owned small business which i love to support this ring also didn't break the bank for me which is awesome it was 45 dollars i think that is fair for a high quality gold filled jewelry not bad i've seen a lot of other brands charge way more than that but yeah i just wanted to share that with you because i love sharing small businesses and new brands for you guys especially on my instagram i post a lot of small businesses on there and support them it seems like you guys like discovering new brands through me and i love doing that for you if i'm going to buy something anyway and spend the money i'd rather support someone who is small especially if they are sustainable and ethical it is 5.03 now and I think it's getting dark soon so I probably won't be able to film an Outlook or an Outlook an outfit lookbook. I might have to do that tomorrow, but I'm definitely gonna plan out all the outfits that I'm going to feature in that lookbook for tomorrow. I am actually really hungry, so I might get something to eat. Oh wow. That was like parkour. Also, Romper needs a bath. Like seriously, he needs a bath. It's been snowing the past few days, so he's been in the dirty snow and getting wet every day. This little stinky boy. So I think that is what we are gonna do today. Um, But yeah, that is pretty much what we're up to today. <laughs>
Hey guys, happy Friday. I am excited for the weekend because I feel like this week felt really, really long for some reason. I don't know about you guys, but all the weeks are getting longer and longer in my opinion. I'm having a pretty productive day today. I did a lot of chores around the house. I cleaned up a little bit, reorganized. I feel like redecorating and rearranging things around the house is a never ending chore of mine that I actually do enjoy. I decluttered my office desk space, which I am so happy about because it looks so much better and way more of my aesthetic that I'm trying to achieve with my overall home. It just looks clean, simple, very minimal. So I love that. I'll show you guys the setup because I'm really happy with it. And I actually created a vision board a couple days ago and I have yet to show you guys. I really am happy how it turned out. I made it digitally. I'd rather just do things digitally because I'm more comfortable with that. And I feel like having it as my desktop wallpaper is just my perfect version of manifesting and staring at it every single day in hopes that it'll all come true this year. I was hoping that I was going to film my Valentine's Day video today, the second one, but it seems like that's not gonna happen because I have something in the Amazon hub that I ordered a couple days ago and I was hoping that I was going to be able to have it for the video. Unfortunately, the hub is down right now and my apartment complex is not doing anything about it. So that is that. I can't get it right now, unfortunately. So that video will have to get filmed tomorrow instead of today, which is fine. I don't think I have crazy plans tomorrow anyway. Oh, never mind. We're going hiking tomorrow with <laughs> Zach and Ashley. We're going to Shenandoah to do a little bit of a mild hike trip. Tonight, I think my friend Erica is coming over. She and I usually meet up maybe like once every two weeks or so so i'm excited to catch up with her regardless of our hiking trip tomorrow i am definitely gonna film my second valentine's day video but i do have all of the outfits planned and curated for that video tomorrow so it'll be easy breezy i will show you guys a little bit of a sneak peek of the outfits as well on the hangers over there that's where i plan out all of my outfits and then i have to like literally haul everything into this room and then back to my bedroom which is kind of a hassle but it's like the best process that i've been able to come up with okay so let me show you guys this is the overview of my desk and on my desktop on both of the screens i have my vision board up so let me show you guys i love how this came out it is just right up my alley all the colors the mood the theme is everything that i've wanted on a vision board it makes me so happy to look at this every single day that i'm on my computer and i'm on my computer a lot guys so i see this maybe like eight hours a day which is great this is my desk space i have my little cork board up there on the wall but it just looks so much cleaner than before. I wish I had a before shot, but I unfortunately don't. And I just started messing with the desk without intending to film it. But this is basically what it looks like. It's just so much cleaner and just simple. I love all the empty white space pretty much on my desk because before it was a lot more cluttered. I had a lot of things going on. Now I just have things that make me truly happy with the aesthetic. I have a really cute vase in the back corner right there. So I put some fake flowers in here. I never have to change this out. I took a wine glass that says thankful my cup is full and it has all my pens. I have my bride candle right here. I have my little cup that has an A on it. And yeah, this is basically what my space looks like. Ugh, isn't this such a vibe? <laughs> okay, so now I will go ahead and show you guys a sneak peek of the outfits for the second Valentine's Day video. This is everything kind of piled on each other. I have all of these outfits to put on and feature for you guys. I think I have a total of maybe six or seven outfits here and I have the shoes. Okay, I don't know if this is a bad idea, but I kind of want to paint this rack. I want to spray paint it black. I'm not sure if that'll turn out okay, but I feel like that'll fit my aesthetic a little bit better. I do like the light wood color still, so I'm just kind of half and half on it, but 
yeah, it has crossed my mind to spray paint this black, especially because my desk space over here, sorry, I have so many studio lights, but I mostly have like black and beige and gray theme going on over here. So it's a little kind of, I don't know, out of place. I don't know. Maybe it is good because it kind of brightens up the space. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I do it? Should I not do it? <laughs> Oh God. <laughs> I'm taking the ultimate uh, vlogging challenge right now. I am. I'm multitasking. It is so pretty though. I have to do this. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like your spider. This is intense. <laughs> hey. Hey. Watch out for the rock. Queen of multitasking. How's it going, babe? <laughs> like, if I could attach strings to you, I'd be like, <laughs> moving you around. <laughs> That's a block of ice. <laughs> Don't do that. It's not. It's soft. Look. Oh, okay. I'm not that mean. <laughs> Gosh. back at home today we were so tired because it was so icy oh my gosh as you guys saw in the clip like it was just covered in snow and ice so it was a lot more difficult than we had anticipated but it was really fun and i'm so glad that we did it it was it was just like a lot of fun so now we're back at home about to have dinner i was really craving hot pot so charlie was so nice to prepare everything i actually got an amazon package it's an iphone case an amazon seller emailed me randomly he was like do you want to try out our iPhone case and I was like, yeah, sure. Why not? He just wants me to leave a review on Amazon. So I was like, okay Got it from Autofly, Autofly or something. It's a liquid silicone case and it looks like this I'm just gonna unbox it for you guys here. I have the iPhone 11 Pro Max and It's in the color light blue. Let's try it out. I already do like my case though. I got this on Amazon too. This color is kind of that rosy beige, but I already got it dirty. It's still in really good condition. I might just kind of switch out my cases if I feel like it, match my outfit or something or aesthetic. It's kind of nice to have two cases in case something happens to the other one or I feel a different way about it. I picked this light blue color because I, oh, it's really pretty. I really like this color. Oh wow, it's not as rubbery as the current case that I have on my phone right now. It's a lot smoother, which I actually like. It looks a little lilac-y, light blue, and I'm just obsessed with all like pastel, dusty blues and purples, so I'm really excited to have this. Let me try it on my phone, see what it feels like. Wow, I haven't taken off the case in a really long time. <laughs> okay, let's try this baby out. Yeah, fits like a glove. I like that it has the raised, what is it called? Bumpers, I guess, around the phone. The edges are kind of raised, so if you do drop your phone face down, it'll hopefully, you know, protect it. Oh, it's really cute. I really, really like this color. I'm just gonna have to deal with the inconvenience of not having the pop sock socket. I do prefer this type of feel more than this one because this is a little bit more rubbery. 
I don't think Charlie and I have plans for tomorrow, which is great because I need to get a little bit of work done today. We were just both so tired to do anything after the hike. So we're just gonna watch a show or something, eat some good hot pot, and hopefully tomorrow I will get more work done. <laughs> Good morning everyone, pardon my appearance right now, I just woke up and my hair is looking ridiculous. It is snowing again, oh my gosh, are you guys seeing this? This is nuts. Yes? Can I help you? Today is gonna be quite a filming day. I really need to film my Valentine's Day second edition video. I have all of my outfits already planned. Fingers crossed that I can get that done quickly and efficiently today. Charlie and I are definitely gonna stay in today because it is snowing quite a bit, but I don't think it's sticking at all. It's very wet and rainy, so I highly doubt that it'll stick. I'm also breaking out a lot on the side of my face for some reason. I think I just need to wash probably the pillowcases or something. And I just got off of my period and usually I break out around that time. So it makes sense, but I'm having a little bit of a skin trouble right there. So pardon that. I'm gonna go ahead and take a shower, then film that video, try to get it edited and uploaded and planned all today i'm gonna have to edit this vlog to go up tomorrow which is today for you guys and then the valentine's day video will go up on wednesday so in two days you guys will see that video which is exciting i did get a good response from the last valentine's day video which is exciting i'm so glad that you guys liked it all right well i'm going to end this cozy diaries right here because i don't think there's much to show you guys today if you haven't already please like this video it really helps youtube kind of push my videos out to home feeds and everything you have absolutely no idea how much engagement really helps out a small youtuber channel so i would really sincerely appreciate any likes and comments on my videos and it's a free way to support me and my channel so i sincerely appreciate that subscribe if you want to stick around and i will talk to you guys in the comments bye